Hello everyone, uh, my name is Gene. Uh, today I want to testify for a young Kazakh uh, guy, I think he's about 30 in his early 30s now. His name is Shatuk uh, Daulet. Uh, he's from the 67 Bintuan Corps in Chapchal County from the number 8 company. And uh, he was one of the many, many people who were basically detained for attending a birthday party that a local imam had organized for his daughter. Uh, Shatak's case is particularly bad because he is, well, he's sick, he has leukemia, and as I understand, it's not a good case of leukemia. Um, and uh, he had gotten it treated before, he had gotten it treated before, but then it came back, and it was around this time that they were arrested, it came back. And nevertheless, he has been sentenced to 19 years in prison. A lot of the people who, a lot of the men who attended this birthday party were sentenced to 19 years, 15 years, 20 years, and so on. And so allegedly he's still in prison. And uh, so I call for him to at least get the proper health care he deserves, but also to be released because this is a completely bogus uh, you know, event, an incident where everybody at this party was detained. And... Um, yeah, uh, and also it's worth noting that uh, Shatik actually had a, uh, he was sort of lauded by state media and written about just a year before this incident took place, where they basically said that he was a great entrepreneur, a great example for other people, and uh, where they said that basically, yeah, he was this great guy who, he had, he had his own phone repair shop in the 67th Corps, and now he's uh, sick in jail for 19 years in Kuitun, I think. And uh, I actually, honestly, I don't know if he's still alive. So that would be a start is to at least, you know, figure out how his health situation is. And uh, as the information vacuum in Xinjiang does not go away, uh, it's still very difficult for us to know these fundamental basic things. So that's my testimony for Shatuk. I don't know him, but his case is particularly bad. And so I want to raise it here and uh, hope others can pay attention to it. Thank you.